going further into the details we'll try and understand as to what is the work force in fact the actual number of people who are employed is the work force those people who are wanting to get employed are not the real work force of the country so that means the people who are generating income who are adding to the gdp of the country are the true work force of the country now we'll talk of the size of the work force in the country in fact it is 70% of the male who include the work force of the country and it is 30% of the females who are employed whereas 70% of the people are the size workforce in the rural areas and it's only the 30% of them in the urban areas now this statistics that 70% are the workforce from the rural areas and 30% are from the urban areas will give you an idea or rather a miss idea that probably the work force is more in the rural areas so they are the ones who must be adding to the gdp of the country but that is not the correct situation not the correct picture which means clearly that if more people are, are employed if the work force is more that does not truly depict that the gdp is generated more because in the rural areas more number of people of course are employed but the kind of employment that they have does not necessarily adds to the income that is they could be having disguised employment unemployment so which means that there is low productivity in the fields that they are working for example on a small piece of land there are 10 people working whereas the number or the requirement is merely of two people so the productivity is very low compared to the workforce which has been employed in the farm when the productivity is low that is the time the earning is going to be low naturally 10 people employed so the share will be divided amongst 10 instead of 2 which means that the earnings will become less and this will automatically generate poverty in the country which clearly indicates that it cannot add on to the gdp of the country for increasing the gdp of the country we need not necessarily increase the workforce in quantity you have to increase the quality of the workforce that is the people who are employed should be skilled people and should be able to generate more income let's talk about the rate of participation of the workforce in india when we talk of the rate this is the statistics that is available to us in the urban areas it is 34% in the rural areas it is 42% in the urban areas 52% men and 14% of the women give their participation whereas in the rural areas it is 53% men and 30% women the overall participation is 40% now looking at the statistics which is available we can draw few conclusions now the first one that i can see is that the overall participation is 40% that means the participation is very very low next thing that i see is that the people or the participation in the urban areas is 34 and in the rural areas it is 42 which means the participation of the workforce in the rural areas is more than that in the urban areas now another figure that has come is that in the urban or areas the 52% men are employed and 14% of women and in the rural areas it is 53% men and 30% women 
which means that the participation of the women in the rural areas is more because maybe they do not have access to education and they start working very early. Now, the women participation or the work of the women is still underestimated in India for various reasons. For example, if the women works at home, then that work, the value of it in monetary sense cannot be termed. But if she works in her family business, then too she is taken as if she has not earned anything monetarily, whereas the men in the family business are considered as active earning members.